Hey guys, I'm Josh Nellis, and man, Nintendo's been having a rough couple of months as of recently. From April to June, the Wii U only sold about 160,000 units worldwide. They've been struggling with a software drought, and now their stock is taking a plunge. After Nintendo's move from the Osaka exchange to the larger Tokyo exchange, Nintendo stockholders were hopeful that the stock would be listed on the larger the K225 index, making it the fourth most influential stock in the index. But after it failed to be promoted, analysts recommended sales of the stock and sale so they did. Nintendo's stock dropped 8.4%, its biggest drop in over two years. Though their business has been bolstered by a booming 3DS ecosystem, which will no doubt be helped along by the upcoming release of the 2DS at a lower price point, Nintendo continues to suffer under the weight of the underperforming Wii U. Nintendo president Satoru Iwata has admitted that a lack of software has been a major problem, and they've still got a long way to go to build a compelling library that can compete with the noise Sony and Microsoft are making over their upcoming console lineups. Worse, Third-party publishers are wary of committing too many of their resources to Nintendo, which traditionally hasn't been the best at supporting third parties. In the past, they preferred to focus on their first-party efforts, and now that's kind of hurting them too. Bethesda's VP of PR and Marketing, Pete Hines, says the time for convincing publishers and developers to support the Wii U has long passed. And Anthony Birch, the writer for Borderlands 2, believes that developers are unlikely to shoehorn in extra mechanics for the gamepad just to release for the Wii U. However, let's not say all is lost. With both Sony and Microsoft pushing support for their own second screen scenarios, more developers may be open to the idea of working with the Wii U gamepad. And Nintendo is working to address their software drought. Super Mario 3D World, The Wonderful 101, We Fit You, We Party You, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Wind Waker HD, and more are slated to come out of Nintendo leading into the holidays. And they are getting third party titles in the form of Watch Dogs, Just Dance, SpongeBob SquarePants, Wipeout, Adventure Time, Skylanders, Scribble Knots, and more before the end of the year. Click like, and if you're new here, consider subscribing and spending more time with us, and visit roosterteeth.com for more of our shows. Now, uh, we gotta find Joel. He can give Nintendo some uh, financial advice. Mm.